Thank you, Bob Lynch and Americans for the Arts for having me here. Thank you, Chairwoman Chu, for the work that you do. Fantastic to be here among these great artists, Mr. Stokes Mitchell, Mr. Vereen. Today, as we gather for the 30th Arts Advocacy Day, we are all thinking about the work that needs to be done. And I know that we don't want to be disheartened by the situation we find ourselves in, but instead do what we have always done in the arts, which is to do the work, right? To advocate and to fight. Today, I know you all are looking to redouble our efforts to tell our representatives why the arts are so important to Americans of every age, background, and walk of life, and why, if we want America to be strong, we need America's support of art and culture to be strong as well. And that means we want agencies like the NEA, the NEH, and IMLS, and others to not only exist, but to thrive. I am really proud to be the director of the Studio Museum in Harlem, and I'm proud that we're an institution with a nearly 50-year history of making an impact in our community and around the world. But that success was never a given. We needed help to get where we are today. The Studio Museum was founded to answer a need, a need for artists of African descent to receive the recognition and support they deserved, but were too often denied, and the need for the public to engage with this work and be inspired by the vision of these artists. In pursuing that mission, the studio, did the Studio Museum benefit from private support? We did. But was private support enough to get us through? Not at all. We were not founded through the bequest of an individual or a collection left or a marble palace. We were begun with support in part by the NEA and the Expansion Arts Project. There would be no studio museum in Harlem if there wasn't a commitment to create arts institutions in communities around the country at that moment as we need them today. So I stand here today among you all arts people, my people, I will say, and say that the thing that we are are storytellers. And I know that what you all will do today is not only tell the story of the facts and figures, which are profound, right? We all know them. But tell our own stories, like my story of an institution that really believed in itself but needed the support of government to make it live and thrive to be almost 50 years old today. We all want and need arts and culture. America wants, needs, and loves arts and culture now more than ever. And the federal f government was founded around this ideal of providing this opportunity. So I want to encourage you all today in this work that you all are doing to spread the message of advocacy for the arts today and always. Thank you.